Kia ora, my name's Rongo. Me and my mate Robert, we just got out of jail. Doing some hard-ass time. It's been interesting since we've been out. <laughs> we've got some bikers trying to kill us. <laughs> we robbed some dope dealers. <laughs> the cops raided us! That's all that's left! That was gonna be good until we found out that we fucking robbed oregano, not fucking dope. That's my mum's food! Oh, what? Fucking kebab ingredients. And uh, my name's Rabbit, by the way. If you want to know why I've got that nickname, it's because of this, my rooting style. <laughs> Looks like a rabbit, doesn't it? Have another look. I'm Pothead's bro Pothead's brother. And? Oh, well, this is his house and he's in fucking jail. You reckon you guys are cunts? You should bail him out. Remember that dodgy dope I just told you about? Well, our mates, Jimmy the Junkie and Pothead, had the bright idea of going to the cop shop and complaining. I want to report that fucking Lebo cunt that my mate stole his dope off. Yeah, I smoked like ten cones of that, man, and all it did was straighten me up. Not a great idea when you've got warrants. Wake up! I was gonna go take my morning piss and then I fucking smelled something funny in the house. So I kind of followed the smell. <laughs> you know it's a weird morning when you find a junkie hiding in your cupboard. Have you gone all paranoid again, have you? His brain was a little scrambled after snorting the contents of a fire extinguisher. Hey, how did you get out and Potty's still locked up? Oh, it's because me old man's cashed up, eh? And, like, he doesn't like me getting in trouble and that. Like, he bailed me out, eh? You, you know me old man, eh? I don't know. Do I know him? Yeah, hey, oh, I've got a cunt on my screen, so, yeah. Have a go. Oh, fuck, really? Is your old man the guy from Matrix? <sighs> no, that's you go weaving, you dopey cunt. That's my fucking sister, bruh. Oh, true. We just done the hucker on the lounge, bro. Have a look at the STI she just gave him last night. That's what they look like under the microscope. Hey, Kylie. Hey, Kylie, wake up. I need to borrow some money to get on. Don't say nothing if it's all right for me to go through your purse. Oh, hey, Shane. Hey, Rongo. Mate. I reckon we should, like, try and bail Pothead out. I'm feeling slack, mate. We're staying in his house and we're drinking his piss. How are we going to get the bail money? How much money's in that bag? Uh, nah, just, like, pussy plugs and, like, lipstick and that. There's no money, bro. I can see the fucking five in your hand, mate. Next victim could be you! Me and Rongo needed some bail money for Pothead and I had no fucking ideas, probably because I was smashed mm. on tequila. So I thought, who can give me good advice? And there's only one person I go to when I need it. His name's Biker Bob. He's a legend, eh? Me and Rabbit have known him since we were kids. Wait, come here, little What? When me and Rongo was, like, small, kids would pick on us and fucking smash us, mate. That's until Biker Bob showed up one day. Oi! Leave him alone and pick on some on your own side. Yeah, after that day, no one messed with us, mate. He taught us everything there was to know about motorbikes. Front brake, back brake, clutch, change gears, right. What's this? Accelerator. He taught us how to fight, bro. Hands out like this, so... so. <laughs> Elbow. Yeah, Elbow. 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 Oh, come in, come in, go on, get an 
One day he said to me and Rongo, you's a fucking dumb. You're going to be shit like at school. So you need to learn something that's going to get your money in the future. So he taught us Phoebe. <laughs> I love the bloke, but he's got a few, like, funny, like, little corners on his personality. Like, when we was little, like, he kept stealing, like, fucking heaps of push bikes for his daughter, Charnel. And not just fucking one or two, like, fucking heaps of them, mate, got ridiculous. You got one just like Dad. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to fuck with me. Bob's a mean ass person, bro. He went to Vietnam, just like Rambo. Fuck, he's probably bitter. Dad, don't. Ah, listen, darling. That bloke across the road knows the front of the house is my car spot. That's where the HQ goes, right there. So if I blow his house up, he might pull his head in. <laughs> right? Hey, just block your ears, darling. That's it. Thanks, three of yours. Boys, boys. I'll be out real soon, all right? Look after Charnel. All right, get off me, you dogs! Hi, my name's Charnel. Every time Dad got busted and put away, Rabbit and Rongo would come over and look after me. Not in a sick way, like in a big brother kind of way. You blokes have had a bit of bad luck since you got out. I think we're jinxed, bro. Yeah. Hey. Is that... Is that skid mark who owes me money? Oh, wait. Ah, oh, this'll be good. Yeah. How's it going? Got another beer? Fucking BYO. Hey! Stop, Mom! Hey, stop, That's why you blokes having so much fucking bad luck. Lack of planning. You can't just get in a freestyle, mate, and expect to fucking win. Yeah, don't listen to Dad. How many times did you fuck up having some mad plan? Oi! That was fucking bad luck. Or snitches dogging me. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. Someone else's fault. Yeah! I'll give you the tip. Me dad's fucking useless, eh? He's got this whole thing about planning and shit, but most of his plans are fucked. I mean, there was this one time when he went to this house to steal some more pushies for us, and then, like, he realises that his phone needs charging, so instead of, like, waiting, he totally charges it at the people's house, and then he fucking left the phone there. Hey, Charnel. Fucking, can you believe how fucking unlucky I am? Look at this. Slipped on a fucking condom. It's nothing to do with luck, mate. It's lack of planning. Your fucking lack of planning. You know, Bob was in one of his fucking shitty moods, so he didn't really give us much advice that was helpful. But then, you know, it happens like this. Ideas are just like getting a fuck. Sometimes it comes out the blue. Fucking 50 shades of shard over here. Have a go. <laughs> oh, hey, bro. Hey, hey. Got a mad way of getting us cast up, eh? All right, then. Spill your guts. Well, you know me missus, Ron. She works at the fucking fish markets. Oh, yeah? What are we going to do? Knock off some prawns and scallops? Or oh, some fucking fish and chips? This is going to be a big score. The great prawn robbery, they'd call it. No, dickhead. Them fucking lobsters are worth, like, 100 bucks each. And she knows where they fucking keep them. Oh, yeah, fucking lobsters do go for a fucking fair bit of cash. <sighs> Pull up, cunt. Listen, bruh, this bitch will draw you a fucking map, right? Leave the back door open for you. You can't walk in. It's fucking free money. <laughs> hey, bruh, these are fucking genuine red <laughs> belly lobster, bruh. OK, well, let me think about this. If it comes off good, what do you reckon? 50-50 split? Oh, fuck off, dog. 87% minimum, bro. That's the fucking standard. There's only one way to negotiate with junkies, bro. Yeah. All right, 60-40. 50-50. Oh, this is going to be fucking off tap, mate. You know what? It's like Bob said. When you got fucking planning, it's fucking just going to turn out 100%. I'm ported lobsters. <laughs> I think they're expensive. How much are we going to go for? Fucking heaps, bro. Yeah.
Oh, shit! A frozen fucking Asian bloke. That was unexpected. First thing that come to my head when I saw that fella? One less bad driver on the road. What are we gonna do? Fucking maybe we should take him with us. He could be worth something. I'm thinking he's probably like a gambler who owes money to the triads. <laughs> so that means we can fucking, like, take him and ransom him back to them. Next victim could be you! Lobster boxes, fuck yeah! You carry him next time. Oh, fuck, he's not even in the hallway in. What kind of piss we throw is that from a fucking Maori? Get in there, stop fucking wiggling. Here's to us being fucking legends, mate. <laughs> you fucking hear that? Is that him? <laughs> Shut the fuck up in there, or I'll bottle ya! <laughs> you know, Rongo he pronounces his name fucking wrong, or whatever they say in their Maori language. But fuck, I tell you, in Australia, it's pronounced wrong go. And that's what he fucking does frequently. Oh, why did you turn down into here? Oh, fuck. The RBT's always here. Fucking shit. We can't turn. Oh, fucking switch, bro. Nah, it's fucking, you got like better alcohol tolerance than me. You're a Maori. That's fucking bullshit. It's fucking like the warrior gene, mate. It's a fucking fact. Oh, Just fuck. fucking give me that. I'll fucking hide it. Act normal, will ya? Stop breathing like that. Act fucking normal. <sighs> fucking settle the breathing, mate. Kia ora. You guys been drinking? No. Oh, was it noise? I think that's probably just uh, a couple of clocks I might have left in the back. Now you don't need to look in there, mate. There's some cow shit in there. It stinks. When you find yourself pissed at an RBT with a tray full of stolen lobsters and a frozen gambler, there's only one fucking thing to do. Run, fucker! Fucking do it! Rocket, come on, bro! Jump on! Rocket, get on, mate, quick! Come on, bro! I said it before and I'll say it again. Now he's the fucking mad size, fucking flex, this, that, but fucking speed. Shit house.